Yo, what's up with it, y'all? It's JD Travel Stenix, and I'm back with another quick video. In today's video, I want to talk about staying on course, staying on your mission, not getting distracted by the outside world, and pretty much standing firm in your belief system. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys are interested in travel, fitness, overall growth content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can get updated every time I drop new content. But let's get back into the video. So, like I said, in terms of staying on course and uh, staying focused on your mission, what I mean by not letting any outside influences or even yourself influence you because you're looking for external validation is, is when it comes down to having a mission, having a purpose, or having goals that you're chasing, any goals, any mission, any purpose that's worthwhile, you're going to have to make sacrifice. So most people aren't going to understand the method to your madness. Most people aren't going to understand why you need to make the sacrifices that you need to make or why uh, you have to live your life in a certain manner. So with that being said, a lot of times when we're on a growth journey, a lot of times when we're on a success journey, a lot of times when we're on mission, so to speak, people aren't really going to understand where we're coming from so it's going to cause us to have to spend a lot of time alone and sometimes it's going to weed certain people out of your life so it's something that you might need to get prepared for so let's just say for instance that you're saving up to buy a house or let's say for instance you're investing your money in cryptocurrency or let's say for instance that you're investing your money in a stock market most people aren't going to understand somebody who's thinking long term with their money because most people in this society think very short term with their money. They plan things out very short term. So for somebody like yourself who's investing, who's looking to buy property, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for you to be social with people because you're not gonna to wanna to spend money willy nilly and you're gonna be wanting to stack your chips up. You know what I mean? That's a position that I find myself in all the time is that a lot of the people who I know, they don't mind going out to the bars. They don't mind going out to eat all the time. and granted I go out to eat sometimes as well and I was doing that a little bit too much recently and I got off my square in terms of you know going out to eat and enjoying myself a little bit too much because at the end of the day right now I'm on a million dollar mission right now I'm trying to get rich financially I'm already it's this channel is about overall growth so finance is a part is a part of that and you know internal growth is a part of that as well I'm not saying that money is the only thing that matters but I'm trying to, you know, like I said, I'm on a million dollar mission right now. So my biggest thing that I do with my money is I invest my money because I'm thinking long term. But like I said, most people aren't thinking long term. So most people, you know, would rather go out and put their money on, you know, say a BMW car or some nice clothes or some new kicks or something like that. And you got to try not to get caught up in that because when I was in my 20s, I was getting caught up in that. I always had to dress fly. I always had to drive a fly car. I always had to look fly because I always wanted to have the per people perceive me as being somebody of value. Opposed to the fact that now, you know, I'm in my mid 30s. I know I have value. And at the end of the day, all those things that I was purchasing to, you know, try to get that external validation, they didn't create any value for me. They were actually just depreciating assets. So they are pretty much worthless as soon as I started using them. The clothes were worthless as soon as I, I wore them. The car lost value as soon as I bought it. You know what I mean? So these aren't things that are actually even adding value into your life unless you're using them for practical use. Of course, you're going to need to, if you want to work out, you got to have workout clothes. If you have to commute to get to work, you need to have a car to commute to get to work. But you also can look at it this way. You don't need to have a million pairs of sneakers. You don't need to have a million workout clothes. You don't need to have going out clothes. You don't need to have all these unnecessary items. I made a video a while back talking about living like a minimalist or trying to incorporate minimalist characteristics into your lifestyle. And I still believe in that wholeheartedly that, you know, we shouldn't be trying to live this life of excess but instead we should be living a life of quality so all the things that we have in our life we should try to make sure that they're quality things and we're not going overboard quality and useful they have to be practical we can't be going around you know before we even own a a, a condo or before we even own a piece of property going around trying to drive benzes and bmws and teslas and all this different type of stuff 
and you know I've been guilty of doing that in the in the past but you know that's not my mindset right now my mindset right now is of a growth mindset and in a growth mindset you're thinking to grow financially you're thinking to grow spiritually you're thinking to grow mentally and of course growing physically as well with your physical fitness and you know one more thing I like to speak about is you know having too many people involved in your life and having having too many influences in your life is something that can also get your life off course so when you are on a growth journey when you are stacking chips when you do have goals that you're trying to accomplish it's better to keep a small circle you know it's better to keep a small circle and it's better to have the people in your circle be able to understand or understand to the best of their ability what time it is with you what goals you're trying to accomplish what pathway that you need to go in order to get to those goals because you know let's say for instance that you have a girlfriend and her expectations are you know she wants to go out to eat she wants you to take her out to eat you know she wants to have uh she wants to be seen with you with you dress and fly or she you know she thinks that you should have this x type of vehicle or any of these type of expectations she might have an expectation because she's at a different place in her life but you're on a growth journey so at the end of the day this is something that i firmly believe in anytime that you're you know ascending rapidly anytime that you're growing rapidly a lot of the times you shed a lot of the relationships that you've had throughout the course of your life and that's the reason why people say that a lot of the people who are in your life are just seasonal of course there's going to be people in your life who are in it for the long haul of course you might have a couple of close friends that are in it for the long haul your family should be in it with you for the long haul and you know if we're all blessed we can have the right woman in our life to be in it for the long haul as well so you know these are all things that we should be taking into consideration but for the most part most of the friends that you have around are not going to be in it for the long haul and most of the women that you date are not going to be in it for the long haul because they're not they don't have that mentality that you know they don't have that mentality to look outside of themselves and see that you're somebody who's on a rise somebody who's growing and somebody who needs to do certain things in order to get to where you need to go but anyways i'm rambling a little bit uh if you guys have anything that you want to add to the video go ahead and add that to the video if you guys disagree leave that in the comment section as well if you guys agree with the video if you guys enjoyed the video or if you guys got something out of the video go ahead and leave me a thumbs up and if you guys want to see more of this type of content let me know subscribe to the channel i'll holler at you guys later peace